No problem. Has, has, has anybody come and visited the, 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 our Not country really. to see the Palestinian tuffles in Burundi? No. Okay, no problem. So I thought it would be thoughtful to come and support this local event that Whitworth Gallery are doing. So what they've done is they've brought together embroidery that represents Palestinian history. So um, typically in the Palestinian history, um, women would embroider their clothes. So in India and Pakistan, typically we have Zardozi and we have some specific stitch patterns that we use. So Palestinian women use to trees, uh, sorry, cr cross stitch. And the cross stitch embroidery can represent flowers, little plants, little birds. It just represents different areas where they are from Palestine. And so and it's typically done on garments, sometimes on their homeware as well. But I just thought, the reason I came to it is because um, I enjoy cross stitch embroidery myself personally. And um, I do want to, at some point, um, I want to uh, um, analyse Islamic geometry patterns and convert them into cross stitch patterns so that everybody can enjoy that. But that will come at some point. <laughs> I'll use this platform to launch it one day. <laughs> so, because I'm always at, um, researching embroidery patterns, especially in Islamic. Um, uh, his, uh, architecture and history uh, to trees came up on my feed and t uh, lo and behold they didn't know that Whitworth Gallery were doing an amazing exhibition on to trees uh, Palestinian embroidery so when we go in we get to see all the garments that uh, Palestinian women are used to embroider on and represent their um, heritage so it should be exciting
She lived in Jerusalem. Oh, you, she's told you this, haven't she? She's told you this. She ran the charity for Palestinian women. This is made in Ramallah. It's still made by a, a group that the Melkite Church has organized from 1988 at the first intifada mm -hmm. when they started making things for... Because the men were all in prison or being deported or whatever, and so the women had to be breadwinners. Mm -hmm.